to me at my base. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right, good talk. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing too. And I just got back from vacation. I hope this thing is going to be here by the time I got back from vacation. Fanboyism is not worth it. Look, this is the reason why I don't fanboy. And I'm just waiting for the Marvel Spider-Man 2 PC port. Maybe in two years. But how about we get nice or let's take a look at Harmon Smith. Let's see what he has to say. It looks as if Spider-Man 2 on the PS5 is having a number of issues upon release. Uh, I'm hearing reports that like there's an installation problem where the game isn't playable for a lot of people because a patch isn't downloading correctly. I'm seeing people complain about wokeness. I'm seeing people complain about the declining quality from the first game in general. And then there are people like me who would never ever support the game to begin with because it has Miles Morales, right? I don't really stop you, but let's put it this way. Look, about the bugs and glitches, it doesn't matter. You have to ask yourself this. If there were bugs and glitches, why there are gameplay footage in YouTube? Here, let me show you. All right. Marvel Spider-Man 2 gameplay. See? Right, here's one. Here's a sponsor. Here and here, here. Shorts, everything. See? Yes, there are bugs and glitches on Twitter with, where ev you know how everyone complains there. But right now, if there were bugs and glitches, why there are gameplay footage? Which I'm going to be watching those gameplay footage to see what's going on. To me, I'm more worried about the PC port. Because I'm probably certain by the time the PC port, most of those things, most of those issues are solved, are fixed. But let's hope Sony does that who is not Spider-Man, right? When I buy a Spider-Man game, I want to play as Peter Parker, Spider-Man, not some, like, wannabe, like, cosplayer that, like, the self in like, so the self-insert character for the writers, okay? Like, I want Peter Parker in my Spider-Man game, so... Do you know how many Spider-Man variants are there? Hundreds! You know what? They could even beat the Avengers! Listen, even Spider-Man needs a legacy. One way or another, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, is going to retire and have a kid. He can't be Spider-Man forever. And he knows he can't protect the city on his own. Look, when Spider-Man started at his first year, he made the mistake doing things alone. It's no shame to seek help. Spider-Man has teamed up with Bobby Morse, The Avengers, Fantastic Four, and many others. And also, he did team up with Civil Sable in the civil lighting. And look, he knows that he can't do it alone, that even Spider-Man told Civil Sable that S Sable can't do it alone. For Miles Morales, he is actually the legacy. He is what's called the future Spider-Man. At first, he'll call himself Kit Arachnid, and then when Peter Parker retires, he became the new Spider-Man. And thus, one day, it will be Civil War number two. I don't know if they're gonna put it in the game or perhaps in the MCU. We'll just have to wait and see. It's uh, it's interesting to see like kind of the narrative around Spider-Man 2 fall apart because for the past couple of months, people were hyping this up as the me next major release for PlayStation. This was going to be the big thing. This was going to stop Mario. This was going to be like a huge deal. But like as the months grow on, uh, dragged on, as we begin to learn more and more about it, as we begin to see like, you know, get those pre-order numbers in, uh, Mario was out selling it on Amazon. When we, we saw those review scores, Mario outperformed it. When we saw like the games themselves, like it was pretty obvious like to everyone that wasn't a complete snoy that mario was the far superior game but i had plenty of people in my comments sec look yes mario did went higher tell me something Harmon. do you even play the game i mean you say to yourself you have a xbox have you played any games from that area seriously Harmon, show my audience some gameplay footage on your console or on your gaming pc look since when did spider-man flop and also for the number of sales why don't we take a look at that? Let's see. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2. Here it is. Marvel Spider-Man 2. I right hear. Here it is. Now, let's see what Mario. Copy sold. See this one. For the review scores, I don't mind because I don't even care. But when, where is it the, that Marvel Spider-Man 2 is falling apart than the previous game? Bro, seriously, do you even research what you're doing? I couldn't even find anything. If it is falling apart, why does people even watching on YouTube? Look at this. See? Here's one, the shorts. 270k. This one, game clips. 
478k, 354k on Mac. I don't know how to say this, but see, there's still gameplay. If it flops, why is it still having tons of views? Hundreds and thousands. How's that even work? In my uh, in my community post, like trying to tell me, hold the thought. Let's re try that. Hey that Mario was the far superior game. But I had plenty of people in my comments section, in my uh, in my community posts, like trying to tell me, no, Spider-Man is better. It's it's open world. Mario Mario is just a 2D platformer. It's it's not even a major release for Nintendo. They're they're gearing up for Switch 2 because they know they'll never be able to outperform Spider-Man. It led me down this rabbit hole of like research. Uh Carmen, can you blame that common i mean do you even know what an open world is it's open yes there will be graphical issues when it comes to that can you blame them firstly before i continue this harman have you been outside have you been in the city like new york city la las vegas Minneapolis? these are cities trust me i've been to my own cities trust me there were a lot of cars a lot of traffics and that's what the beauty of open world not only that being spider-man is like what or perhaps controlling him is a dream you can easily swing past all the traffic you can easily fly and jump from rooftop to rooftop yes and you are not even scared of heights something is wrong with this guy learn realizing that like mario is actually a bigger brand than spider-man you know realizing that like uh we've seen a huge decline in sales over spider-man over the past several years like realizing that like you know the mario movie is better than spider-man uh, uh did far better than any spider-man movie you know realizing that like yeah let's see that okay here is spider-man no way home let's see mario mario movie Ah, see here. And you want another one? Let's see this one. Uh, Spider-Man across the spider bus. The, the recently. Sales number. Hurrah! But let's see on 2023. Whoa! Hurrah! Oh, oh, oh. See this? Take a look at this. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is making more money. If you see every movie or every Spider-Man movie, the second one is greater than the first one and this is why if you don't see spider-man homecoming you should know there was a scene where tony stark and peter parker was confronting or trying to give some heart mentorship you want to know what tony stark says tony stark wants peter parker to be better and that's why and that implies to the movies the second movie had to be better than the first one and then the third one had to be better than the second one that's how industry works and not only that there will be a lot of hype i'm pretty much certain Madam Web that will be coming on February next year is going to be better than Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I'm crossing my fingers. People, the people who are praising Spider-Man are just hyping on, um, just hopping on a bandwagon and have no real inclination to like play video games at all. Like, it's kind of like the Baldur Ga Baldur's Gate 3 thing again, where like you just have a bunch of people trying to like meme this game into being successful. Like, oh, if we just like type Baldur's Gate 3 onto Twitter over and over again. That'll that'll create the illusion that the game is popular and talked about, right? You know, it, it reminded me a lot of that. Like, uh, uh, Spider-Man is basically like the, the PlayStation equivalent of Starfield, right? A game that has a ton of problems that very few people are talking about. Okay, first off, yes, very few people are talking about the glitches, but everything was patched up very perfectly. Okay, even Ackman talked about because... Remember, Ackman found few glitches, but it soon fixes. I think it's better than Fallout 76 for Starfield. And no, it's not like that. Marvel Spider-Man takes place in modern times. Starfield is future. That it, two things are not correlate or not in the same boat. Unless, of course, they're going for Miguel O'Hara, the Spider-Man 2099, which is a different matter into itself. I had to assume they're gonna do the same thing with Cyberpunk because remember that's in the future. Purely because it's an exclusive, right? Like the issue with Baldur's Gate 3 is that it's a PC exclusive. The issue with Starfield is that it's a Microsoft exclusive. The issue with Spider-Man is that it's a PlayStation exclusive. You have all of these games that are exclusive to uh, one or two platforms, right? Do you know that right now, Microsoft has just bought Activision Blizzard? At the time of this upload, they already bought it. Phil Spencer knew that if they put it games on one platform, many games or many gamers 
will miss out. Many people cannot afford a console. For example, Call of Duty 2. It was released on Xbox 360s and then PC. I believe it was that era where Microsoft knew that they need to port games on more than one platform. Because if you make games to just one platform, it, what about the other platform? And like I said in my previous video, not everybody can afford either a gaming PC or perhaps console such as PS5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or even a laptop or a gaming PC, anything. People have their own preferred place or preferred platform to play. You can't change that. That's just preference. You have these games that are just religiously defended by certain people who simply will not admit their flaws at all, right? Like all you had to do to realize there was something up with Spider-Man 2 was ask yourself, how exactly is this game better than the Arkham trilogy, right? Before I continue on, Harmon, would you please edit your video? You want to know why it's more fun? I haven't played the Arkham Knight yet, but I already played Arkham City once before. Yes, it was Emerge, but, but Spider-Man is better because it gives you a sense of what a city looks like. I mean, do you know how big New York City is, Harmon? Have you even been there? Every time when I play Marvel Spider-Man, I realize, my god, how big is New York City? To my viewers, if you know how big New York City is, let me know in the comments. You think people are not acknowledging it? I also like Batman games. I also like Spider-Man game, but I'm willing to play every game that is Marvel related and at least it will be on PC. Not gonna be in one platform, it had to be more. And this is why I am so glad about the Activision Blizzard by, by Microsoft. Who's gonna be next? Insomniac? Sony? We'll just have to wait and see. Like, wouldn't that be its primary competitor? Like, the game you would compare Spider-Man against? Like, is it better than the Batman games? How, how does it innovate? What does it do? Like, does it use the rogue gallery? Is it, like, bringing back classic voice actors? Is it, like, following, like, some famous comic plot line? Like, is it... No, like, when you compare the two, like, it's obvious to anyone who's, like, remotely familiar to, with either brand is that, like, the Arkham trilogy had a much better... Well, at least the first game... The Arkham trilogy, the Arkham Arkham Asylum was a far better received Batman game than Spider-Man PS4 was as a, as a Spider-Man game. You know, Arkham invented like its own. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stole that, Don. PS4 was as a, as a Spider-Man game. Okay, first off, yes, Arkham Asylum is well received. That is true. However, remember, it's a prison facility. I mean, do you even know the different size between a prison facility and a major city? A city is bigger. I'm certain you haven't even been to a city. Carmen, have you ever been to a city like New York, LA, Las Vegas, uh, Miami, or what? Or even Washington DC, which that's way larger, including the Delaware River. Arkham Asylum, yes, I like it. The area is short, but at the same time, the depth of it is large. Yes, you could argue that, but I think Marvel Spider-Man takes it to a whole new level. Remember, you want to know how Marvel Spider-Man got their ideas from? The Batman Arkham Trilogy. I think when the Batman Arkham Trilogy started or ended, Marvel Spider-Man must have, or perhaps the developers for the Marvel Spider-Man brand, is observing it. One of them happens to play them. They've already seen how it works, how they can apply it. Arkham invented like its own combat system. It incorporated stealth elements. It incorporated lots of classic Batman villains in interesting ways, re reasonably interesting ways. You know, it had a reasonably good plot. It had voice actors from the uh, from the animated series. Like it had like all this stuff that got people excited for it. And it's not the best game in the world. It's a solid seven out of ten. But like that's far better than what Spider. Spider-Man came up with. Again, Harmon, do you know where the idea for Marvel Spider-Man came from? They follow the same idea as the Batman series, the Batman Arkham series. And yes, you got it from the, and yes, the Batman Arkham series voice actor are from the original. But for Marvel Spider-Man, you have to think, you have to pick a voice actor. This is why audition is important. I mean, you can't use the same thing. I'm pretty much certain Tom Holland rejects the voice acting when it comes to Marvel Spider-Man. I'm pretty much certain that every developer will use audition first and that's how MCU works without audition how exactly are you gonna cast the voice actor or actor in general why exactly should I get excited for spider-man other than the fact like ooh, it's spider-man like nobody has been able to justify that to me you know nobody has been able to justify miles Morales's presence 
Really? Nobody has justified? The only reason nobody justified because you didn't care and the reason is it's not gonna be on Nintendo Switch which don't even think about it. I'm pretty much certain that if they do port it, it will be a cloud version. It's not gonna run. Look, it's an open world, it's high fidelity and the Switch is probably gonna be corrupted or shuts down in a snap of a finger. It is underpowered, Nintendo Switch is underpowered, it's not gonna run anything. So far we got what, Hogwarts Legacy, we got The Witcher, I don't know, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. For a PC, yes, you can get high fidelity, etc. Nintendo Switch, no. It's underpowered. You know, all the QTEs are like the fact that the combat is like a straight ripoff of Arkham, right? Nobody's been able to justify that. Nobody has been able to tell me why this game is worth getting excited for. And in a lot of ways, it's like worse than Starfield in that regard. It's worse than Baldur's Gate 3 because Spider-Man, you know, being a generic superhero... Okay, first of all, not everyone, like I said before, everyone has preference. Has more stiff competition. Like, when you look at Starfield, you're just like, oh, you can just, uh, okay, it's an RPG where you explore the stars. Okay, that might be interesting. That might be fun. You know, you, you get to upgrade your ship or whatever. You get to explore all these planets. Okay, that might be interesting. You know, you look at Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, uh, it's a hentai game, you know okay, like, maybe if I don't want to play a game and I want to just, like, you know, have some D&D, &D, like, orgies with, like, Shadowheart and, like, her, her boyfriend, like, I'll play Baldur's Gate 3, right? Like, if... Seriously, can you at least strong, show a gameplay footage of Baldur's Shit. Gate? You said it yourself, you have a gaming laptop. <sighs> show us. Also... Uh, let me tell you one thing. That's, Why do you think people that's a bit are hyping out? Yes, you can have an argue idea. and remember, you don't care. I also, seriously, what's all these long to, pauses? To I know you're a Nintendo fanboys, but I will call seriously, soon. can you at least edit your video? I edit a lot of my videos. Probably this video is going to take 30 yep. minutes First after right. edit. You know, I can understand why certain people might be attracted to these games, even if the games aren't good, right? But with Spider-Man, like, there really is no justification for it, right? It's basically just, oh, it's Spider-Man, right? Like, it's Spider-Man. Like, okay, but what's the gameplay? Like, it's Spider-Man! But okay, what's the what's the story like? Is it written by actual... Oh, it's Spider-Man! Uh, okay, but is it better than the Arkham... It's Spider-Man! Like, over and over and over again, all right? And it was uh, it was so embarrassing. I I um I was very frustrated about it. Really? Who told you that, man? Seriously, who told you? Why do you think people are hyped up? Everybody likes Spider-Man one because it's a Marvel movie or a Marvel games. Don't forget, there's a word Marvel on top of that letter Spider-Man, and not only that, it gains recognition when it comes to Marvels. And you think there's no comic book storyline? Yes, when most gamers there is no storyline with. There is a some, like for example, the Spider-Verse. I'm not going to spoil anything. You guys have to play it yourself. For me, I look things differently. When I first play the game, every time I play, I always look for key points, what I can use for my YouTube channel. Remember, I also run or make theory videos and what ifs. Like for example, my first episode of what if, and the second one, the first episode of my what if is called what if Silver Sable accepts Spider-Man's offer. That got a lot of views because people want to know what happened. I give my thought, well, a little bit of my thoughts, and if I make the right thumbnail, guess what? I got views. The comic book sphere is large. If you haven't seen the Avengers yet or the Marvel comics, there's a lot of storyline. And not only that, there's storylines where Marvel Spider-Man has, or perhaps Spider-Man has girlfriends, multiple girlfriends. There are YouTubers who are covering comic book related topics on Marvel and DC. Like, the thing is, I could tell the game wasn't going to be successful, right? I knew this was going to be a bomb. I knew it was going to fall by the wayside. I knew it wasn't going to win Game of the Year. You know, I knew it probably wasn't even going to get nominated. You know, I knew this. there was this thing where, like, this was going to be, like, you know, the PlayStation exclusive to Starfield, you know, the PlayStation exclusive to Baldur's Gate 3, where, like, it's just talked about pre-release because, like, non-Nintendo gamers have nothing else, right? Like, it is that kind of game. You know, it is the hi-fi rush of, like, the second half of the year, right? Like, oh, it's a game of the year contender because it has Spider-Man. Okay, first off, I don't even care about game of the year or anything. It doesn't matter to me. Regardless of what game of the year, I just play the game. Remember, like I said before, it depends on preference. Everybody has their own interests when it comes to video games, when it comes to movies, when it comes to TV shows etc. 
it, it, it's embarrassing, you know, like, <laughs> you know, considering all like the sheer like crazy games I myself have gotten this year, you know, like, you know, playing Shin Megami Tensei Five. You know, picking that up again. Like it, it's been like it's crazy seeing, like seeing people like try and like and hype up Spider Man. Like it's like 2004 all over again. Do you know that the Spider Man in. Two that you played was actually from the movie? Okay. Bro, why don't do it. you show some gameplay footage of Paul's game? Or well, there's any other game that you have on Xbox. And also show us your PC spec. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see what games can run. Twenty years, right? Twenty years ago, like you, 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 uh, you dipshits tried to convince me to. Uh, well, actually, you did convince me to buy Spider-Man Two on the GameCube because you told me, oh, it's one of the best open worlds ever. Like you, your your web real realistically grabs onto buildings and it has one of the. You know, it, it's so much fun. Like I bought the game. You know. It has, like, repetitive mission structures. The plot's not that good. You know, the, the movement and momentum is fine. Like, it's not the worst experience in the world, but, like, you don't understand what it was like playing that game. You know, having it hyped as being, like, the big release. And another thing, look, that was the PS2 or GameCube era. I mean, the graphics is not that cheap or perhaps i'm pretty much certain my asus vivo book right here can run that game run the ps1 or the gamecube video game to movies or perhaps movie to video games is a different matter it's not easy to recreate what's in the movie and then into the video game trust me in the movie you watched it in the video game you control it two different things like playing that game you know having it hyped as being like the big release of that summer and then, like, slowly realizing that, like, it's not that great. You know, whatever positive aspects it has, it's not even the best Spider-Man I game I own. Like, the N64 one is still better. So, like... Seriously, Harmon, I have to ask you a question. Do you even research everything you want to do before you record this video? Do you know how Google Trends work? Yes, it may not be relevant for this, but I had to put it out. Every hype will die down. Look, not everything can last more than a week. Unless if it's a uh, Spider-Man, which... Probably I did show you. You know what? Let me let's see that. Trends. Uh yeah. Here right here. See? It's still high, but let's see the past twelve months. How is it looking? See? Let's see how it starts. Okay, it starts from and it starts to peak from May 14th this year all the way until it drops to July 8th. Well it started to drop on July 8th. Now Let's see other things. Halloween. Halloween. Ah, right here. See? Yes, it's only for temporary. Let's see more. Uh, let's see Marvel. See? Still strong. Well, well, as Halloween, it started to drop. Well, it did slowly. You get the picture. Uh, you guys get the picture. Well, this is how Google Trend works. I mean, you need the Google Trends. I mean, what... This is why when it comes to my videos, I will always make or perhaps even check Google Trends every search term. You know, if I got the right term so that I can gain more views. So like, uh, I in a lot of ways, like I don't even think Spider-Man PS4 is better than that. You know, like it's just the N64 one is still the best. Yeah, that is like the Spider-Man equivalent of like the Arkham games. You know, the Spider-Man 1 and I'm sure the PS1 sequel was actually pretty solid, right? Like I love that game i wish i could play the sequel but like yeah i i i'm so disappointed in seeing what like uh gamers have devolved into and in honestly i'm disappointed if how many times i have to see those gaps and long ass pauses this video is probably going to get 30 minutes at least by the time i'm done editing or anything i don't know how many hours it's going to get what less than 30 or perhaps even 35 minutes and I edit everything I edit all the dead air whatever any stuttering make sure it's not there yes it's a bit annoying I'm really sorry but I at least I know how to edit this time I improve my content I start talking about like how how much how excited I am for Mario Wonder and all anyone can try to do all anyone does is try to convince me that like oh uh, Spider-Man is going to be bigger than it it's going to be the game of the year no it, it's not going to happen you know game of the year right now is a toss up between Tears of the Kingdom and Super Mario Bros Wonder right there's really no other competition for this right like i suppose you know it, it's possible that like 
you know, it might split the vote between Nintendo fans and, and we'll have this issue where like something that doesn't deserve to win gets game of the year nomination, but it won't mean anything, you know, tears of the kingdom and Mario wonder are going to be popular for a long time. Whereas like Starfield or whatever are, is going to fall off the, the wayside very quickly. It's fallen off the wayside already. You know, it's kind of embarrassing how quickly Starfield has uh, become irrelevant. You know what? Let's see that. Is Starfield irrelevant? I got a, you know, I got a better idea. Starfield uh, player count. Player count 2023. Let's see how many. Hmm, I got an idea. Starfield Steam player. Okay, mixed. Mostly positive. Yep, mostly positive, as we see here. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna skip a bit. Hmm, not recommended, not recommended. One, two. Hmm. One, two. Wait, that's it? Three? One, two, th three. Uh, three, 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 no. Do you have any more? Oh, so far, I only got three. I can't even access the other because you need to be a community member, so I think everything is mostly mixed positive. Also, I'm not gonna play another one of this footage. I think he will probably say everything's gonna go well, or perhaps I'm not gonna play anything. I'm just gonna cut the rest. What we learn here is that Game of the Year doesn't matter. It's not worth it to be a fanboy. I like Marvel Spider-Man. I always wanted to play Super Mario. Problem is, not everyone can afford either a console such as Nintendo Switch, PS5, Xbox, or even a gaming PC and a gaming laptop. I know I harp on this many times, but I just want to let you guys know, and also I want to get Harmon to understand. Harmon, seriously, why don't you show everyone your gameplay footage? Or perhaps your gaming PC and your console, your Xbox. Show us a gameplay footage. I like to see it. And I like to see how well you play your games. Not Nintendo, the others. If you guys enjoy this, leave a like and subscribe. All the content will be in the description down below. And there will be past video up here. And my second channel will be in the description down below as well. And right up here, just in case. Trick or treat!